Hi, uh, my name is Jamie Rutledge, and um, the book I selected for this nonfiction book was uh, Four Perfect Pebbles by Lila Pearl and Marianne Blumenthal Lazen. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Um, this book is about the Holocaust and was written by an actual Holocaust survivor, who is Marion. Um, she writes about her journey and her life through the Holocaust and the concentration camps that she survived. Um, she tells her story about how her and her family try and escape Nazi Germany um, right before they are captured and then taken to Bergen-Belsen concentration camp in Germany. Um, so she almost, her and her family almost got away. They um, were signing papers to come to America and they didn't get out in time. Um, so it's there in that concentration camp where Marion tries to find four perfect pebbles, um, which she explains rep would represent her family, a member of each of her family, her mom, her dad, and her brother. Um, and if she's able to find these four perfect pebbles, then that gives her hope um, to survive. So it, um, she, sorry, I lost her and lost my place. So it just gave her a purpose um, to find these pebbles, gave her something to do every day. Um, but she, it's, the book is very moving. It's very heartfelt. Um, it gives you an inside perspective on the life inside of a concentration camp and what it's like to be there. Um, if you've never heard a Holocaust survivor speak, I very much recommend this book um, because I think everyone should, <laughs> should listen to a Holocaust survivor speak. It's a really, really good thing to do. Um, so I just encourage everyone to read it and find out more about what happens and her journey um, and what happens and how cruel pe the um, Jews are treated inside concentration camps during World War II. Um, so I believe that not biographies and nonfiction books are great ways to help students to read personal experiences um, and they can get an in-depth view on someone they might not know about. Um, uh, reading biographies in class is a great way to, for children to learn about new people, kind of what I just mentioned, and um, doing a project with biographies can really help to enrich the curriculum, something I actually just did with my second graders, and they loved it. Um, so yeah, enjoyed reading about it. I hope you want to read this book.